Good day, assessors and evaluators. I am Christian Nico C. Giangan, a new teacher applicant for senior high school. Today, I will going to have my teaching demonstration for the subject Community Engagement, Solidarity, and Citizenship. But before I begin, let me present to you my lesson plan. Please stand for an opening prayer. Let's pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise be the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, now and forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good day, Hume students. Before taking your seats, please arrange your chairs and pick up the trashes on the floor. You may now take your seats. Class monitor, will you please check the attendance? Alright, no one is absent today. Before we begin our lesson, I have prepared a game. It's called Four Picks, One Word. Very familiar, right? In this game, I will present four pictures and then try to guess what specific word fits with the theme of the photos presented. All you need to do is to work out what the word is from a set of letters given below the four pictures. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Our first set of photos. The answer is... Very good! Community! Next, our second set of photos. The answer is... Alright, excellent! The answer is structure. And now, for our final set of photos. What do you think? Correct! The answer is organization. Well done, students! Thank you for your participation. Did you enjoy the game? The game is actually related to our topic for today. Now, for today's lesson, we will discuss about understanding community. Before we start our lesson, let me present to you the learning objectives. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to compare and contrast the definitions of community using various perspectives. Letter B, analyze the functions of communities in terms of structures. And letter C, develop a sense of shared identity and willingness to contribute to the attainment of the common good. Now, let's get ready to learn. For you to appreciate in learning about communities, let me share to you these important key questions. Number one, why do we need to learn about community? And number two, why do community structures exist? I want you to reflect and focus these important key questions so that later on, you will be able to share your answer to our class. Understood? Alright, now for today's lesson, let's first understand the nature of community. So what is community? The meaning of the term community can vary depending upon the context and how it is being used. But the central link in understanding community is by focusing on its people, aside from regarding it as a place. But when people talk about community, they generally re refer it as either one of these three most common notions of defining community. Number one, community as shared political territory and heritage. Number two, community as network of interpersonal ties based on common interest. And number three, community as profound sharing of spiritual and or emotional connection. Now, let's understand the three. First, we have community is defined as a shared political territory and heritage. It is a traditional understanding of community 
that refers to a group of people living in the same geographical area, either as a neighborhood, village, town, or city, where interpersonal ties are locally bounded, are based on a shared government, and a common cultural and historical heritage. Now, let's proceed to the second notion of defining community, which is community as a network of interpersonal ties based on common interest. So these ties provide mutual support, a sense of identity, and a sense of belongingness for the members. For example, one can refer to a sporting community, a business community, or the LGBTQ plus community, to name a few. A special type of community based on common interest that is gaining popularity and increasing in membership today is the virtual or online community, whose members popularly known as netizens. On the other hand, the notion of community as a network of interpersonal ties is often applied to civil society perspectives. Specifically, civil society organizations or CEOs are built around the foundations of common interest in addressing social problems. And the third common notion in defining community is community as profound sharing of spiritual and or emotional connection. This understanding of community pertains to a sense of spiritual and or emotional connection to others or communion with others on the basis of an experience of a problem, of a common problem, bond or a situated cognition. So this notion of community is the most transcendent of the three. Examples of such communities are brethren community, community of disaster survivors, and a community living with HIV, to name a few. Now, for our last topic, let's discuss about community structures. Since we come up with an understanding that a community is a social organization, it is thus proper to investigate how a community is organized, which specifically pertains to its structure. A community consists of social, cultural, political, and economic structures, which keep the community intact and an integral whole. The social, cultural, political, and economic structures found in the community serve as invisible scaffolds that determine people's interaction with one another. These structures, created by people themselves out of daily interaction with other people, eventually develop into a routine or habit. Eventually, due to repetitive acts and the passing down from one generation to the other, such routine or habit develop a life of its own apart from the people who created them. Alright, so thank you my dear students for listening. I do hope that you've learned something today. Now, going back to our two important key questions, let's try to answer them and share it to the class. Okay? Number one, why do we need to learn about community? Yes? Alright, terrific answer! Thank you, Reggie! And now, for our final question, why do community structures exist? Anyone? Alright, thank you for sharing your thoughts, Rika! Any questions? Clarifications? Since you understand already the nature of community, please get one half sheet of paper and open your book on page 13 and answer the activity. I will give you five minutes to answer. All right, time's up. Please pass your papers. I hope you learned something today, my dear students. Please study in advance about community dynamics for our next lesson, next meeting. All right, so now let's proceed for our closing prayer. 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise be the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, now and forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. See you, my dear students. Goodbye, everyone.